Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 584. And this is a very special dedication to Lucy. And I'm also doing this for Melissa and everyone else who's struggling with this. Because we used to have 50 moves to take out the 9 jelly located here, and now we have 12. That's a 76% reduction in the number of moves we have available. And it's tough because this is how the, the board works best. We take out the cake bomb. The cake bomb releases these from their marmalade and takes out a layer of the jelly, so it makes it one layer thick. Then the conveyor belt ticks along. We get the two stripes together. We strike them together. We take out the second layer. However, if I'm going to drop this down, I need at least seven moves remaining. So I have to take this out in five moves and it's really tough to do and especially with this board i don't like this board i don't like the setup i am not opposed to using specials i want to try to do this without specials but uh, it may not be reasonable to expect that we're going to be able to get it done anytime soon without boosters and so i'm, I'm looking at my lolly hammers and my switch hands as being possible opportunities uh, but first I want to start with a good board, and I can exit and enter without losing any lives if I do so before I take my first turn. If that doesn't work for you, then, uh, and you work, and you uh, play on a computer, as of October 2018, I know how to get unlimited lives, so just ask me about that if you need to know that. All right, this is looking a little bit better. It's not good enough. I want to get things down here, so I'm going to pause the recording and I will meet you back here when I find a better board. Okay, we started with something fairly decent. It go, goes along the side. I'd like to use the stripe too. I'm going to go ahead and go for this and hope for the best, but here's a problem. If I open this up and I don't open this up, then, <laughs> yeah, I'm in trouble because if, let's say I open, oh gosh, this is tricky. If I open this up and it starts riding along the rails and this isn't open by the time it gets here, then I can't use this to clear this out. Likewise, if I open this up with the green and get it on the rails and then I clear out the cake bomb, it's going to unwrap this for me, which is nice, but it's going to totally blow this out of existence. Uh, and so I definitely don't want to make this striped candy and do a striped orange. It might help here, but it's not, well, it would open it up, would it set it off? Because then I wouldn't even need this. Let's go ahead and try it. We're doing some experimenting. Also, and this is really sad, I did this once and I used a lolly hammer and I had everything all poised to take out the single layer jelly that was here. There were like, I don't know, two or three here and then there was a gap and then there were another couple and it failed to remove the jelly over the gap even though a stripe should so this is all about experimenting let's see if this both opens and sets it off it did so now if i can just take out the cake bomb that should be it right and this is looking fairly decent for me i don't see getting any value out of that stripe so i'm going to go for this Okay, it's not looking awful here. It's not looking great. In order to get this done, I may need to use two lolly hammers, one here and one here. And I have to say that, you know, even though I could play it repeatedly and get better luck, hopefully, for this board, um, it would take a long time and I don't think it would be worthwhile. See, I just need a few more moves and I don't have them. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a lolly hammer and take out this portion of the cake bomb. And then I can't set that off, can I? I should have thought that through a little bit better. But really, I, I didn't have much choice. And so I'll use another lolly hammer and I'll just kind of blow this up. So two boosters and I got it done. With a 76% reduction in moves, I don't think you're going to be able to quickly get by without using a couple of boosters. I would just wait 
and make sure that your investment is going to pay off. I waited until I had a really good setup, and then I waited until things worked out fairly well for me, so I didn't have to invest too many boosters. If you if you invest, you know, seven boosters, then you're probably not waiting. You're not patient enough uh, to find a good board. And if you don't have any boosters, you can keep trying to collect boosters until no level can stand against you. If you need help in learning how to collect boosters from various ways, there aren't a whole lot of great opportunities these days, but there are a few. Anyway, Lucy, I hope, hope, hope that this helps for you. For me, it was nice to have a color bomb that I matched, not with this, but with the, um, the stripe that was here. I mean, that color bomb stripe combo, and that really helped. If you folks would like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching.